Hello everybody, this is Excalibur. Welcome back to Excalibur's Vanilla Adventures. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, um, um, there we go, I can do this. Woo! Anyway, uh, I got back from my trip and I have a couple of things that I've been doing. Let me turn off the F1. There we go. Um, I got a lot of fun stuff. I found a couple of these places. Uh, the, uh, the pyramids on the way back. I got some books from a village, some more chests, um, lots of bones. I got some gold and some iron, which I turned into blocks already. I found carrots and potatoes out in the wild, which I don't think we even had, so we can have some more food sources here. So let me take a look. Nope, no carrots, no potatoes, no carrots, no potatoes. I uh, found... Uh, I think that the horse armor has been around for a while, uh, but I did find a saddle, and, and you heard it a couple times. Say hello. Come on, get down off of there. I don't want to suffocate when I jump on your back. Let's see here. E, uh, just this horse. I was going to name him, and uh, well, I'll leave that to you guys. What name should we use for our wonderful horse? Uh, not super fast, not super speedy, only has 11 hearts, but uh, he helped me out quite a bit. It was not easy getting around there with him, um, but I was able to get him across all the water and everything that we traveled along. Now I'm going to put this up in here. Um, I decided that one of the things that we're really missing is a good string farm, and uh, since on one of the servers that I'm running, uh, there is actually... And by the way, I got a couple of emeralds and some diamonds. Um, one of the things I'm actually missing is there's some birch, acacia, uh, some dark oak. Is I'm I'm missing some basic mob drops, a good XP um, grinder. So what I would really like to do is set up a spider spawner trap. Since we have that spider spawner, we may as well. Um, go ahead and use it, right? Alright. So, to that end, I am going to go ahead and head on over to our wonderful spider spawner and take care of getting rid of those spiders that are in there to make room for wonderful amounts of XP. Now, I'm just, uh, getting things sorted out. We are going to be leaving and checking out the spider spawner soon enough. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put those in there. We've got our bucket of water, bucket of lava. Uh, we're going to need another couple of buckets for water, and we're going to grab some building blocks since um, I've got email, of course, going off everywhere. Since I have an abundance of andesite and Diorite. I'm going to use those. I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, let's say, six stacks of it. Uh, come on. There we go. Well, not six stacks, but there we go. That should be enough. And we've got plenty to use the rest of this for. We're going to go on over to our wonderful place and away from these noisy chickens. And it is actually just over here. I wish I had... Uh, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and fill these with water. Um, woo! I've already been down there. There's our, our ladder down. And I think, ah, yeah, I need to get two pistons. Maybe four pistons. I think that would be the best use of our time there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to set up not a crusher, but we're going to set up a way to turn it from um, a mob spawn catcher to a well, mob drop farm to something else. Hey. Uh, okay, so we have to get into our redstone, and I don't have any things there. So we're going to grab one, two of those. Come in here, we're going to grab one, two of these. Let's check my... Yeah, I've got full 
diamond. I mean, not diamond. I've got full uh, iron armor. Uh, we're going to need cobblestone, which is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to need some wood planks. We're going to need six. So if we take this, uh, that's eight. Yeah. So there we go. We should have more than enough now. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The redstone, the iron, and then just straight across, bloop. We get our two pistons. And they have to be sticky. I don't think we have any slimes, though. So let's take a look. Do we have slimes? No slimes there. No, we haven't run into slimes yet. Which is kind of funny. So, uh. Ah. Uh, we're gonna need slimes. We're gonna need more redstone anyway. So let's grab, um. These nine blocks here. And. Let's think about this. There's no way to create slimes in game. We have to go out and find the actual slimes themselves. Let's check our chicken production. Yeah, since I turn the world off when I'm not playing it, heh, chicken production is kind of low. So we can come over, this is a swamp biome over here, so we can come over here and hunt slimes at night. That's the creepers and everything else that we have issues with. And I could go look for a swamp, um, not a swamp, a, a, chime, a slime chunk. I can speak today. It is a magical thing to be able to do that. So we should already have, and this is a lot of, this is a lot of resources that we have to really get into. Let's go down here to the spider spawner, which is all lit up. Now the trick is spiders. They just love to climb. They love it. They love it. Love it. Love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a way to make these spiders climb up to their death. We're going to make sure that it's all nice and dark there. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to lower the ceiling. Um, we're going to grab up all this mossy stuff here. Just go ahead and do that while we talk. And we're going to have the spiders get pushed that way. Or actually, let's see here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And our stairs are right on the other side. So we're going to have them pushed that way. Um, so this is going to be the front over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a way to push the spiders off here. And then have them funnel into the center. And then up to us. Because they're going to want to climb up to us. And at the top we're going to have a drowning station. Um, so they're going to have issues breathing once they get up to the top to take us out. And that's going to be our lovely, lovely, lovely um, wind condition there when we're farming these guys.
Now I grabbed the andesite stuff. I was going to pretty things up as we went along. But I think I'm going to uh, hold off on that right now. So we have a way up and out. And yeah, we'll go this way and then do our collection up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is um, the center. We need to be within 17 spaces. You see how that's all uh, flashing fire? That's The game is telling us that spiders really want to spawn, but the light levels are too high. And it's going to be like an 8x8 area that they can spawn in. So that's one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's just one too wide. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig out this wall here to make this the wide area. So that's our maintenance stairway down. And uh, if we look here and go from here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to dig out this. So it's going to be a little bit wider over on this side. And this wall's going, and this wall's going. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. And luckily, we are low enough that this works. Now, one of the issues with the spider spawner is that the spiders can climb. And uh, if they get up on top of here, they're going to want to get to us. Jumping down in the water is okay. But for the most part, these guys are not going to be happy with uh, what we're doing here. Yeah, we can do that. Let me find more iron. That's a lovely thing to find. Okay, and let's put up some light. Make sure that this is all wonderful. Get as much of these resources as possible. There we go. Alright, so that's one side. Now we have to get this side equally as wide. So let's go ahead and start on that. Now, this isn't like super automatically uh, um, OCD friendly, so to speak. You know how we say we're OCD when we're playing a game and um, something is not an even number on each side or whatnot. And it's, it's just a saying. We, I really don't care whether it's uh, equal or not. Now, one thing is spiders can jump. They can jump and then cling on to things. So we're going to make this um, three high, and this is actually going to go... Um, so it's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we need to make it ten by ten, I think. But actually, eight by eight should be more than enough. So over here, we're going to actually dig up three so that the spider can't jump up and climb up there. We want to have it set in such a way that the spider friends will not go for it. So we're going to come all the way over here. And we're just going to get rid of these three blocks. <clears throat> and we're going to try and find a way to keep those spiders from getting up here before they're ready. So here we are. They're going to be pushed down this way. We're going to have a two-wide channel right here at the end. So if, if we take a bucket of water and just plop it here in the corner... We're going to watch as this line goes right here. And we're going to have the water going all the way across there. And then we're going to have um, an extra cobble path all the way around. So the spiders can't get up and get anything. Um, and chances are, I think I probably have to get this filled in and this filled in. We will see. We will see. Because this is 8 from here. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we actually fill in these two parts here. Um... But the spiders will get pushed all the way down here, and they need to fall into a channel. And that channel is going to be here, and we're going to have water where it's going to go down to, and the water is going to be back and push them that way again so that they can't climb back up in here or climb up there. Um, and this right here is going to be one up. Now, this is all me building off the top of my head, and why don't we go ahead and pretty it up while I'm thinking about it. We'll go ahead and use this guy. The andesite. Put this up one. We'll kill this. Put the andesite down. So we have pretty stairs.
and then we're going to put andesite right across here there we go and then oh, you got to have that filled in and this filled in so there we go this is our pushing chamber where we're going to have all the spiders uh, placed in areas they don't want to be and they won't have a clue so all these lights are going to be here um, now if we place down our bucket we have to see exactly where the water stops and it stops right there so right here and here are where we're going to dig down and the channel is going to go down three rather than two Actually, it can, it can go down two. So if we go like this and just bring it down two, like so, um, we're going to dig an extra channel for the water to push the spiders where we want them to go. So we're going to want water pushing this way. Now if we take this and put the bucket there, it's going to push us, of course. And then if we dig this and this, we're going to see where the water naturally wants to flow, right here. So, I'm going to dig that. Alright. I'm going to grab our buckets just to make sure. There we go. And, right there, is where the spider's going to go. Let me put a, a torch there, just so that we can keep it all nice and clean. And we're going to change this up by using the the polished die right now. Do do like so. I think what I'm going to do is wherever there's going to be water flow, we'll use the, the um, diorite like this, just just to make it pretty. And we'll do that. Yeah, make things all nice and pretty for these spiders so that they can be happy that they're being sent to their untimely doom, ultimate doom. I don't know. All I know is these spiders are not going to be happy where they're going. There we go. <clears throat> Now the trick here is spiders like to climb, as I said, and they can actually fit in a one by one spot. So I'm digging this as a two by two for us, but it's probably going to be um, a two by four with water pushing straight in. We're going to have signs here because the waters, will, the spiders will get here. Um, we're probably going to have signs set up along here so that we can get. Uh, the spiders to fall in and we do some other stuff. So that's where the water's gonna flow. Anywhere water touches, we'll go ahead and put in diorite just so that we know where the water is. And like that. Maybe I should have brought some stairs. Not stairs, uh ladders. This is sort of reminding me of a uh whatchamacallit, the swimming pool, yeah. So all of the spiders are going to spawn. They're going to come in here. We're going to want to see this happen because I really like doing that anyway. And I have no shovel, so we're going to do these by hand. There we go. And the cool thing is about finding all this andesite and diorite We can uh, make more as we go on. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have issues with uh, spawning. I thought I was picking up some. Ah, there it is. And a site. Pow. Um, 
I thought we're gonna we're gonna have issues with spawning with this uh, ravine near us. So we're gonna have to light the ravine up, and that's okay. I do that a lot on servers and stuff like that. And while I'm thinking about it, like I said, everywhere that the water touches, I want this diorite. Uh, water's not gonna touch there, so let's get that andesite back. I pay attention to what I say. There we go. The water is going to be right here. All the way to there. And besides, I want to use the new blocks. <laughs> there we go. If I wanted to get really fancy, I would put a granite arrow pointing this way but this is really nice looking I like it all right and uh, as I said the water is going to flow here water is going to be touching this stuff here so let's go ahead and get this cleaned up yeah we'll go all the way There we go. So water is going to flow this way. It's going to push them into here. And we want them to just go a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to count 17 from here. And we're going to make a tunnel straight ahead. So we're going to grab our cobblestone for that. So 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Now, if we look back there, you'll notice that as soon as we get here, that settles down. But if we step right here, it starts back up again. This is where you stand to do the AFK. And there's a zombie back there. Yeah, we heard it. Um, so what we need to do is dig down one, two, three from here. Cause, so we stand here, maybe here. One, two, three. Uh. And we only need two, but we're going to make this pretty anyway, so. Alright. So to make that pretty, we're just going to use this, starting here, and then make sure it goes this way. And we're going to put down a torch in the middle of it. There we go. And we have to do the same digging out here of the three. Okay, so uh, now that we're here, this is going to be where the collection room is going to be. We'll put a temporary block right there. Well, maybe temporary block all the way up. Oh well. There we go. And uh, we're not going to make it too big. Um, let's see here. Let's make it two more back. One, two, three, four, one. Uh, uh, and we'll make it two this way. Okay, so here we are. This is going to be the collection room. We'll go ahead and uh, this will be gone. And this is going to be where we're going to stand. Now, spiders can actually hit you and everything um, one block away. But what's going to happen is they're going to come up here and there's going to be water right here. And we're probably going to have uh, some dispensers that will keep the spiders from uh, drowning. Um, now, that'll uh, work. So... 
I will I will get the talking done. The talking is a good thing. So we're gonna bring this down one more step here. Put this up. Because we want those spiders to really climb up here. We don't want them to uh, lollygag about and swim back down. So here we are. Now if we put the water buckets back where they, where they go, we'll see how far this flows. And they're going to want to go to the closest place. And we want them in that corner because all the water is going to push them down like this. And we're actually going to bring them right where we want them. So right here, we're going to have some signs. And we're going to have water right at this level here. I don't have any signs on me, uh, for obvious reasons, because I am very unprepared. I decided I would just go ahead and do this without thinking about it. Um, but the, they will get pushed down there, and then they're gonna they're gonna be tracking us almost the entire time, and want to come over there anyway. So here we go. Ha ha. Can't keep me down. There we go. So the spider is going to be pushed over here, and it's going to push him straight down along this path here, all the way to within one block of us. So I think that's a pretty good amount of. Um, so everywhere the water touches, we have this. Come right along here. And right along here. And we'll put a torch right there to make sure it's all nice and light. This right here is all going to be andesite because, uh, well, why not? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it and there's no water here. This also helps as a nice handy tutorial thing so you can see where the water flow and all that's going to go. And I'll break that and replace that torch in a minute. And had I brought granite, I would have put granite right in there to show you that that is where our, whoop, our spiders are going to die. And I run out of space. So we'll do this, put this, and plop that back up there. Grab this, and a site, and clean up. And we're going to go ahead and do this right here. One, two, three, four, with a torch right there. Okay, so. How are we going to keep the spiders from getting us up top? That is the trick. What's going to happen is we are actually going to have a, um, a wall of fence posts there. So the spiders will see, uh, see us, but they'll try to get to us, but they'll come up and they'll be submerged in here. Now for XP, what we're going to do is those fence posts are actually going to be just right there on that level. Spiders can't get under it. Um, they'll try to get up there and get us, and we just hit them until they die and drop their stuff, their XP and everything. Uh, let's see here. No, we don't have any free anti site. That's only one piece. We'll get rid of that. That's no problem. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. So here we are, and stupid zombie get up here so we'll have all of our spiders right down all the water here pushing this way and water pushing here pushing them down and then we'll have water up at the top so I need to get um, some nice amounts of water to do that let's put this torch right there for now 
And I, I just wanted to get this all nice and prettied up since we're doing the whole pretty as we build thing. Pretty as we build, pretty as we build. And I think I like having the cobblestone up top, so we will use up this cobble by doing this. And put that torch there. And doing this. So one thing we're going to need is we're going to need some glass to make this uh, a lot better. Mm, let's go ahead and get this andesite put in. That is one irritating zombie. Let me tell you. Yes, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, zombie. I don't know where you are, but you're irritating enough that I don't want to talk to you. So we have andesite here. Cobble here. that into andesite. Smooth andesite. And we'll get our stuff like that. Ouch. That's actually far enough for me to hurt myself. <laughs> Which is what we want the spiders to do too. We want them to try and get us and hurt themselves as much as possible as they try to do so. Alright, that needs to go to cobblestone. go and this does so I'm gonna do this and I'll speed it up There we go. And now I'll go ahead and pull these off. I wanted an excuse to use these, by the way. <laughs> so, that actually looks really nice. I like it. Anyway, um, spiders will want to climb up here. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to make sure that there are fence posts up here. Um, or glass panes. Glass panes would probably be better. So we'll put glass panes right here to keep them from climbing up there. We'll fill that up with... Uh, glass on the inside. Whoops. If I could parkour, I would be awesome, but I am not a parkour person. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you, zombie. Alrighty, I'm gonna drop down here again. Ouch. So all that's really left is putting in the water streams and then making sure we have in our stuff that we need there. It's almost daytime, so what I'm going to do is we're going to close this up and I'm going to use that as the main entrance. So I went three that way. Let's go ahead and dig our way there. We need to be at this level right here. So we dig down one and go this way. Here we are. This is where we need to be. Let's put a torch there. And that's going to be our view. We're going to see the spider spawner there. We step back, it stops. As soon as we step here, it starts up again. And we're going to have spiders wanting to come and eat our faces the entire time. Let's get rid of that gunpowder. I'd rather have the one gunpowder instead of all that other stuff. Now, one of the things we're going to do, we need those signs right there. So we need four signs. We need two dispensers, which are going to go back here to make it really easy to turn on and off. And because the dispensers are going to determine whether the spiders drown or not, we're going to need fences right here and here and here and here to keep the spiders from getting us. 
So let's head on back to base and get those materials, drop off the stuff we don't need. One, two, three, four. Oh, and we're going to also close this off. And I'm going to put ladders in down there for me to climb up. So I can get up and down without issue. I think that'll work. Yeah. Alright, so we need the dispensers to spit water out here. One, two. Dispenser, dispenser. And they're facing down. There we go. There. Now we get rid of this. Get rid of this. And we want the water to come out here and drown them because we want them to come up. So we put down signs here, 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 and here. And if we put the buckets up in there like this, I like putting them in the middle, just to test. Let's see here. All right. Let's put it right here and see what happens. We only need the one. Okay. We only need one dispenser. Now uh, let's put the bucket back in there and put the lever back above it. Oh, it opened up both. So we technically only need one anyway. So let's get this guy out. Get that water and see what happens when we do this here. We don't even have to run redstone, we can just put the lever right on top. Here we go, let's turn that on. And let's say we're a spider, we're trying to get up. Let's put the fences in place. And we're trying to get up and uh, get the humans. We will actually have no issues getting up here. We want the water to come out at this level. That's fine. That's why we do these tests. And that's why I should do tutorials more often. Or do more testing more often than anything. So we will go ahead and replace the die right here. And that's actually a little bit better. And I should have gotten not a, a ladder, but uh, I should have gotten what I needed before. So let's take this guy out. Take this guy out. And I did that wrong. Oh well. Put in our one dispenser. And in there we'll put our bucket. We will put our signs exactly here. And the spiders will come up here. They will fit within this area and try to get us. So let's go ahead and do this. And just... Stupid skeletons. Let's put this right here. And... Um, Get the water out there to start. Alright, I can't get up there unless I do this. Alright, let's break this guy. Alright, um, so this is the issue. Well, the spiders are going to climb up here, that's no problem. I think we're golden. We can't get out through there. We're going to have to test it. We're going to have to see. Spider stuff are going to be pushed that way and then pushed down. 
Um, we need the hoppers right here. And they're going to push out this way to these chests. Which I'm going to put in just like that. Then hopper, hopper. All right, so hopper, hopper. This is fine. And actually, that's that's pretty good. So we can get up and out. So let's see here. Let's jump up here, pretend we're a spider. And we're in the water. We're swimming. We're trying to get over here. It actually, you can breathe. Over here, you cannot. And here, you cannot. So that's good what we're going to do is we're going to put the lever right here so we need a two lever system dispenser I did it again all right, yeah, uh, you can do it right with this. And what happened to the water source block? I don't know. We'll have to see. So let's hit the switch. Hit the switch again. Both come out. Here I go. I can get in and out. Let's test the water. Bubbles. Bubbles all around. But over here, you can be like... I want to get you. Let's see what happens if we do this. And then that. All the water goes away. And then they'll be sitting here trying to get me. So what we can actually do, since it's spiders and everything, we can do that. Make it easier for us to get in and out. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but the spiders are going to have issues. Over here, we're going to put stairs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and... dig up and we're gonna put ladders up to get in and out we should be able to reach that if we jump on here and then there we go we can just climb right up just like this get in and out we could probably put a door or something here but I'm not gonna worry about it we're going to do this and then, oh no, it's not that. Hey, <laughs> there's the hoppers at work. So we do this. There we go. I'm going to put this back in place right here. And we're going to create an infinite water source. Because we need it. one and two go ahead and fill all three of these buckets up and we're gonna run over and uh, get that set up I think it was right here nope it's right here yeah, I'm being a little retentive about this. Okay, we can get down here. Let's get the water in here. So we do this. And just keep pushing against. And the water will create its own infinite water sources as you go along. Just have to figure out where to place them. Oh, and one thing I forgot. To keep the spiders from climbing up there and technically you should uh, have the f ceiling a lot lower like around there but uh, we're not going to worry too much about it right now and we need to put something right there uh, let's see here now we're going to get pushed it doesn't matter we have these guys which can go right like that and I think that should be good and we come over here 
And we're out of water. <laughs> uh, so prepared I am. Let's get up here. At least I set up an infinite water source, right? Right. Make sure this is all lit up back here because we don't want bad things to happen. So come over here and we go one. Whoop. Actually, we want it there. We want this one here. All right, and we'll take a look at how this goes. It flows down, and it goes all the way to here. And that is wonderful, because the spiders will get here, see us there, and try and get up and get us. So let's take the easy way up. We'll just go ahead and break that. Okay. Um can't put ladders anywhere here. I can put water right here though. Ooh, Trixie. Alright, let's make sure I can open up this chest because yeah, putting this back killed that. Can we put the fence there and still open this? Oh yeah. That'll work for now. Here we go. So yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, spiders can't get up here. Uh, we want this the way it is. We have to get rid of that torch. All the torches should flow down into the central part here. And we can test this out. So let's go ahead and go and uh, fill this up. So we can sit here and hit the spiders, they can't hit us, and we can turn the water on and off. I'm going to turn it on so that we can swim up, because we're going to have issues here when we get on this side. And we're going to need the andesite and cobblestone. We'll see how well this works. get all these edge ones. I don't care if that one do. Oh, cool. Our spiders are going to go nuts here in a second. Oh, we got one more over in this corner. Let's get that. All right. There's one. Two, three, four. Let's see how it does. Here we go. They're pushed. They want to climb. Come on up. Uh, maybe the water needs to come down one more. And uh, very well could be. Well, we'll see if they push. And let me just go in here. Options. Music and sounds. Hostile creatures. Let's put that down to about 50. And we'll see how this works. Because I think with the more that we get, they're going to want to push and push and push to get me. And maybe I could have put glass in there so we could see it. But they are spawning. And you can see them, the bubbles going. Maybe. This needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's kite them back a little bit by stepping back here and then stepping forward. Hello? Do you want to come get me? Move over here, slide down, get our torches and ladder, 
Let me climb up here. Oh, there we go. See, they can hit you. A block away. So we can swing at him here. We might have to bring. Oh! And see, there's one there that just climbed up. Now, if we bring it back one block, we should have no issues with the spiders. No issues at all. And let's take a look at our chest. Yep, we can come down here for our XP as well. Because standing right here, they're going to want to jump up and hit us. But we now have an XP farm. It needs a little bit of work, and that guy there needs to come down. So let's pull out a bow. Knock him away from there. Cool thing is, all their drops. Yeah, you got me. Well, let's come down here and collect our XP. Hmm. Yeah, they're climbing up there. We need a way to keep that from happening. Okay, I don't normally do this, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into game mode 3. So we're in spectator mode now, and we're looking... Yeah, they're hitting right here and just zipping right up. So what we need to do is move this back one more and then put a ledge so that they can't climb up um, and you can see he, he wants to spawn but he can't and if we come down here they're climbing all over the place up here so we need to put in um, a gap here or put in water flow here to help push them down this way uh, because down here they are not getting up high enough so we're gonna get up here Oh man, I'm probably going to die. There we go. Let's go down. Then game mode zero. There we go. Why am I stuck? There we go. Oh, and I got an email. So we kill these spiders. And we can climb down here and get their XP. That's actually pretty good. We're almost up to level 30, which is what I wanted to get to. And we've got XP stored over there. So we need to fix that there. Um, and we need to get these guys to want to swim up. So if the water goes all the way down and they hop up, that's that's a good thing. And if it's two down instead of three, that's another one. So I will make some glass panes to force them down. And maybe find a way to get them to go channel here maybe make that four wide that might be a little bit easier so I'm gonna do some more research I'm gonna test this out and see how it works and uh, I'll make changes and let you know next time we play all right woohoo until next time enjoy playing Minecraft enjoy playing games Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out to know that you guys are watching and you're enjoying these little tutorials. Also, if you could, visit www.patreon.com slash ExcaliburZone and become a patron today. That would be excellent and help me along a lot. As always, this is Excalibur, and I am
out.